This is Twit. Uh, one piece of closing the loop feedback. I, I mentioned this to you before the, the podcast, Micah. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Pates wrote, just listened to your podcast and heard you say that you won't be able to find your email address anywhere online. But Perplexity AI knows where to find it, apparently, FYI. He said, I asked the question, what is Steve Gibson's email address at Security Now? And received this reply, quote, Steve Gibson's email address for the Security Now podcast is securitynow at grc.com. This address is intended for podcast feedback and is mentioned regularly during the show, although it is not prominently displayed on the Gibson Whoa. Research Corporation website. And I'll just say that I continue to be surprised by what we're creating here with this what can only be considered an AI revolution. As we humans continue to push technology further and further, we create both new capabilities and new dilemmas. You know, we're rapidly moving into a world that was only recently pure science fiction. So it's going to be truly interesting to see what happens with AI. But Micah, like these sorts of summaries where like it appears to actually get the context and, yes. and like to understand what's going on. It's, it's creepy. It, it gets a little creepy. And honestly, for me, um, I remember when we first started seeing the generative AI thing take off and I was still in a headspace of, I know it's kind of silly, but I would feel bad about challenging the system too much. I would feel as if I was, you know, making it, I didn't want to give it the opportunity to fail me because I I don't like to I this is this is kind of but I don't like it when I can't you know uh, uh, properly achieve a task and so I would be overly descriptive and overly <laughs> mindful uh -huh. and try to help it get get to the right answer that I was looking for because I didn't want to be disappointed, but I also didn't want it to like work hard. I, I don't know what was going on psychologically, but that's just where I was. And now I'm very lazy about how <laughs> I'm I'm asking the things because it does, you know, on the, the times whenever I'm asking it to- It appears just, to understand. It appears to understand. And I think that that's really going to make all the difference when we see more of this playing out in our- uh, virtual assistants. Um, the the actor Bella Ramsey um, has just uh, the Apple just debuted several advertisements featuring Bella Ramsey, and um, they are uh, an actor in um, uh, The Last of Us, and uh, they were showing off some of the aspects of of a new version of Siri where you could say where do I know this person from? And it was able to say, oh yeah, you met them because I can look at your calendar. I can look oh. at this. And up to this point, oh. you know, we haven't, we, you have to do so much of the directing for that yes. to happen. And so yes. it is really wild seeing how this is just happening automatically in the background. And then when you use something like perplexity, because what perplexity does is it is a search engine that has AI tacked onto it. And so uh, earlier when we were talking about it, Benito had pointed out that that was probably uh, a big part of that is it has access to the transcripts for security now, which that alone is something that needs to be, you know, if it has access to those transcripts because it does a search on, it finds the show uh, on the Twit website and can read through that, it has information that it wouldn't otherwise have Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security.